Hello everyone, welcome back to the Night Flyer podcast, the second attempt of me recording this podcast episode because I realised at the start that OBS for some reason did not have my mic connected, so I have to do this whole introduction all over again. And yes, I know, it's weird that I'm back and I'm used to this and I'm here basically just talk about my American trip, just in case you needed like a little TLDR. Um, I'm not going to be really going over too much else because like... I'm, re- I'm just not really in the mood to talk about newsy kind of things like I usually do in the podcast and I'm also just like not bothered to put out a tweet and then wait a bit like to get some questions on the holiday and stuff and the channels and stuff. It's just mainly because I want to just like get this information out of me and into podcast format before anything else. So realistically this is not even a podcast episode this is just me like going live but offline. So yeah, just forgive me for a moment, I'm just, yeah, I'm going to open the gallery, I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, yep, this one, the airport photo, and basically, as I talk, I'm, like, basically going to be going over, like, the pictures on my phone, because that's going to be a good reminder of what happened between this segment, this segment, this segment, and yes, forgive me, I will be taking a few sips of water during this, because my voice is not used to talking consistently like this for such a long time, and I may have a cookie or two in between as well, as if I was actually alive. Right. So you can hear the excitement in my voice. Um, So, let me start by saying, yes, for the first time in my life, I went further than Europe and I actually traveled to the US with my friend to meet another friend and basically go on a road trip for the last like 10 days. And just a quick like summary it was really good. Obviously, we had our ups and downs, but, like, our ups were more than our downs, honestly. And, like, there were a few misunderstandings, but I think that all really just stemmed from me and so on and so forth. So we, we won't really get into that sort of things. I'm just going to get into things, because some of them do get a bit personal anyway, and even some of the highlights that do get a bit personal as well, so I'm not going to be too, like, informative of those various aspects, but, yeah. Anyway, where do we begin? Well... Funny enough, this story actually begins on the 20th of July, not the 21st. And by the way, uh, we flew out on the 21st and we landed basically on the 22nd, I believe. Or was it the 21st as well? No, it was the 21st as well because, hey, you have to remember when you travel to America, at least where we were traveling to, there was a five hour time difference. But anyway, this all starts on the 20th of July. Uh, I prepared my like suitcase full of stuff, constantly checking my, uh, let me see if there it is. Let me just... Preparing with my copy full of notes, which I just realized is so weird now. Because, like, if I go into it right now, just, you know, just give me a few seconds. I could see, like, everything here, and I'm like, damn, I really didn't need as much shit that, I, like, I packed, honestly. But honestly, it's better to overpack than underpack, because even though I packed quite a bit, what I thought was quite a bit, into my suitcase and my, um, school bag that I basically use, um... They did not weigh even half of the required weight of thing. Well, at least the big bag didn't. The little bag might have just a bit gone over half. Which shows, like, I could have packed heavier stuff if I really wanted it. Maybe I could have just thrown it in one of the fucking five kilogram dumbbells. That would have been fine. And they would be like, oh, yeah, you're grand. But to be fair, a lot of the hotels we went to and all that had um, basically, like, gyms and all that sort of stuff. But we didn't really use them because we were, as I said, we were road tripping. We were basically always, like, going out of the place and so on and so forth and obviously at the end of the day we go back to the hotels and just rest it out you know but yeah no it again it's so weird like i see like covid certain card and they didn't even ask for that at the airport uh i was gonna ask like about the covid state and Maine, like laws which Maine, by the way is the place we went to mainly and we also traveled to uh, new hampshire in the states to meet uh, other family members of our friend and I think as well, I'll just say, is like, I'll try and stay saying my friend and the friend we're visiting instead of saying their names, just in case they don't want their names mentioned. But then again, I also thought about this last night. Like, what if, like, they see this podcast episode and they're like, yeah, Joe, what, why not have, like, both of us on so all three of us could talk about the American holiday together, which, honestly, that would be kind of gas, honestly. It's like, <laughs> we have two American podcast episodes at the same, or, like, one after another, and they're both basically the same thing, just... I'm solo here talking about this holiday myself and then we see from the other perspectives like what we have. Oh and I will mention as well I'm not going to be like I'm not going to be uh, like actually showing images and stuff throughout this podcast. If you do want to see some images of my holiday just ask me and like 
even just go to my Instagram. I think I have a post on like some of the at least first few images and maybe second few images are there as well. But I can guarantee you, like, I can show you an image if it's, like, not too personal. Like, I'm not going to be showing pictures of, like, the three of us and that stuff and pictures of us individually. Like, there's some good videos that we I took, but, like, they're not going to be a thing. If anything, though, I could do another, like, video, like, on a reel of, like, the best pictures and videos of um what I took on the trip. And maybe a few, like... Of my friends as well, because like they also took quite a bit. So, yeah. Sorry, I'm already getting warm in my new uh, <laughs> my New Yorker uh, purple shirt. Yes, this shirt that I was wearing right now actually came directly from uh, the New York airport. Which I might as well just move on at that point actually and just talk about that. So, obviously, we took the uh, Dublin air. We went to Dublin airport and we took a plane going from there. To a connected flight to JFK in New York. And then from there we went to Maine. Now it was strange. Because in like. Once you get past security and all that. In like Dublin airport. You essentially pass into. Um, like America itself. Because like I don't know. There's just like things in it that are very American. There's even the American check thing. And they nearly caught me out on that. I'm not going to lie. I even told like my friend as well. Like, yeah, they nearly caught me out on it. Because they were like, oh, what's your, what's the purpose? Or how long are you staying for? And I said 10 days. Then they asked me like, uh, what is the purpose of your visit? I said visiting a friend. And they asked me something like about the friend themselves. It's like, like, they basically asked me something that tripped me up. And then they said like, oh, so you have been to America? I'm like, oh, no, yeah, I've met them online through Discord. And they're like, oh, okay. I don't think I actually said through Discord stuff. But, you know, th that, that information is really old. That Again, this is all from the 20th. And I don't think I even mentioned before the airport, I basically was staying at my mate's house. And we were playing, like, GTA 4. And we were messing around with, like, this swing set that, like, flung your car or vehicle, like, very far. It was very fun. I need to, at some point, maybe, like, actually get GTA 4 and just play through the whole story. But anyway... I still have Resident Evil 4, actually, now that I think about it, the playthrough, and Devil May Cry 5, and a few other games, but shush. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah, basically, I want to also say this. This is the first time in my life flying a in a plane, and I flew in four planes total within the last 12 days. <laughs> it's so funny to think about, but, like, roughly, yeah, it's basically 12 days. It's like, the first flight was six and a half hours long. The second flight to get to Maine itself was like 44 minutes, even though they said it was like, originally I think it was meant to be like an hour and something, and then they said on the plane it was meant to be 50 minutes and something, but then they, no, 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 sorry, they said 44 minutes, yeah, sorry, never mind, I'm thinking about something else, which was weird, but yeah, um, reverse a bit again, sorry, I keep like pushing the story forward, because I think I have to like, get this all out in like a few minutes, but I forgot, this is a podcast, we could just take our time we can take a chill like look i can even take a water a sip of water out of my flask that i haven't drank out of since yesterday delightful um oh man i want to talk about that so badly but joe stay on track right sorry so um we on the plane like first plane like it's weird, right? Because I thought I'd be a lot more scared. I wasn't really. I think it was because my stomach was... Already, like, I, I I don't know what they actually call it. I just called it traveler's diarrhea. Uh, where, essentially, like, my stomach would not stop giving me shit for, like, a lot of the journey. Now, it wasn't really painful, per se. It was just, like... Again, I think it was just a mixture of emotions, nervousness, stress, and all that sort of stuff. Because sometimes, like, when I stress out quite a bit, like, I do... Um, I get a bit sniffly and then it turns into a cold and then I'm like out for a bit. Uh, that's what stress does to me anyway. Um, oh, I didn't even realize. Yeah, sorry. D this was in the other flight, but I accidentally spilled a bit of coke and a bit of it went in my bag and kind of poured on my new uh, FNAF book, which I'll get to later, and even on my notes copy, which. Oh, it's just discolored the top of it. But anyway, sorry. Um, let me just reopen that. Basically, uh, it was kind of. It was all. It wasn't that bad though. Uh, 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 like. Other than that, because I watched three films whilst we were on the plane. And it's weird as well how I was so insistent. I was like, nah, you know, I'll, I'll sit on the outside. I think it was just because, like, um, like I felt like I wanted to get up more for the toilet and stuff. So that's mainly why. And I didn't want to keep bothering, like, my friend being like, yo, can you get up for me, please? Like, I, I need to go to the loo. <sighs> um, yeah, sorry. I also just saw a screen, like, a sh not a screenshot, but a picture here. Me taking a picture above the clouds, which is so... 
weird to think we were that high in the air, man. That's just madness. Ugh, sorry. Um, <laughs> tangents, the podcast episode. So, the three films I watched was, um, I think, I can't remember the order, but it was definitely like uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the live action one, which I might say, eh, it was okay. Like, it was probably on, like, maybe, like, yeah, I'd say on par with, like, the first one. Like, I don't really get too much enjoyment from them. I just watched the first one because I had Netflix and I was like, yeah, go on, I'll watch that. And I obviously watched this like second one because I was like, well, I'm on a six and a half hour flight and there's films here that I can watch, so I'll watch them. Oh, and plus, for some reason, they were charging like money for using Wi-Fi. And I was like, no, fuck that. I'm not using, the like, I'm not paying for Wi-Fi. <laughs> I'm scabbing off the Wi-Fi as much as I can whilst having like my uh, VPN on, which I will not mention the name of. They'd have to sponsor me in order to get their uh, sponsorship uh, name here. Um, yeah, I watched Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I watched uh, Despicable Me 3 because I literally like, haven't watched that. I've watched the first two and I was like, ah, I might as well watch the third one as well. And then I watched The Minions as well. Not The Rise of Gru, obviously. Just just like The Minions, the original one. And uh, yeah, it was quite quite cool. Um, I don't think... Actually, I think I did, wasn't it? I think one of the films literally was like... They basically ended when the flight was like nearing its end. So it was actually kind of handy, you know? But there was also times during the flight as well where I, like, paused during uh, the film. I think it was the Sonic film where I was just like, nah, I need to rest my eyes for a bit. Uh, it even happened on the way back as well. Where, like, I had to, like, close my eyes for a bit and give them a bit of a rest. Um, I might have slept, like, a microsecond on the, f- like, first flight. But I don't think I slept on any of the other flights, though. I just, I just can't. I can't sleep on a moving vehicle. I just can't. It's just weird. Um... Yeah, other than that, um, we had a snack with a drink, I think. No, maybe it was just a snack that time. I can't remember. I know on the way back, we, we had a snack and drink. Uh, we had dinner, and we also had... Um, what do we call it? We also had... I think it's something else before we left as well. I can't remember. Um, but I did, oh, it was meant to be tea or coffee, and I didn't really get any because I wasn't arsed. Um... Yeah, sorry, I I just realized I'm starting to bore myself with some of these details, so I think I'm going to skip forward to the New York airport. So weird to think, once I, like, stepped into the New York airport, that I was just like, whoa, we're in America right now. We're, we're, like, miles away from New York, and yes, I'm saying miles, because, like, I I was using, like, different (laughs) words and stuff for quite a while, but yeah, it was kilometers away. Like, I know on the way like the third flight back to New York, you could actually see out the window, like the actual skyscrapers of the city and stuff. And it was just like, wow, okay. That, that looks so small from here, but like that is massive. Like there's no joke about that. Manhattan is massive. Um, but yeah. Uh, other than that, actually, now that I think about it, most of the airport stuff was grand. Uh, like Dublin airport was kind of being a bit weird. Cause it was like, Oh, we won't let you through until the, we have to open the doors and stuff. And, like, the people, like, who were meant to open the doors and stuff would constantly just come up to the door, do fucking nothing, and then just walk away. Like, bro, we're not animals, like, at least converse with us. Tell us, like, what the fuck's going on, like. But anyway, sorry, that's just a little hissy fit I want to get out of the way. There's probably going to be more airport hissy fits because I fucking hate layover times in airports, especially what we're going to talk about now, but, yeah. So, yeah, we were in New York. Uh, we didn't really venture too much in it. I didn't really eat much myself. Because, again, I was feeling the traveler's diarrhea, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just... Ugh, yeah. I, again, I don't think there's much else to mention. We got onto that plane. As I said, though, it was 44 minutes. Actually, the one thing I will mention, though, is the first flight, ears popping, not that bad, not achy, cool. But this second flight, because of the speed they were going, and because it was 44 minutes long, <laughs> like... Not only did they pop my ears, they made my ears ache so much harder than my stomach was giving me shit for. So, like, if you imagine, right, my stomach's going through an episode. Then my ears are like, no, I want to go through the episode. So, like, my brain refocused its efforts from, okay, your stomach's not as bad as this, Joe. What did you do to your ears? 
Like, it, man. I'm not saying it was a bad thing that they were fast. Honestly, it was a good thing that they were fast, I guess, because, like, we could land at the airport, and the airport itself in Maine is actually pretty small. It's pretty cozy, honestly, actually. And we didn't have trouble getting our bags when we went over and when we came back as well. They were pretty, like, chill about it. It was scary on the second time coming back to Ireland because, like, there were so many, like, leftover bags just behind us being, like, just glaring at us. Like, oh, no, I hope my bag isn't among them. Um... But yeah, other than that, we landed in Maine, uh, Maine's airport, uh, PWM, I think it's called, like the actual air code, I can't remember. Um, so we landed there, we got our bags, we stepped outside, and we were waiting for our friend, which they drive a car, so it was, again, the, the whole point of a road trip, because it'd be weird if we said we were going on a road trip, but we weren't really using a car most of the time. I do feel kind of bad, because like, there was extra pressure for them for the whole time to be, like, driving as well as they could with the extra people and weight and all these other factors. Like, honestly, if I was doing it, I'd be, like, worrying myself a lot as well. Um, oh, sorry, let me just reach for this real quick. Um, yeah, no, I don't think there's anything else to mention. Other than, like, when we met our friend for the first time, it's just, like, it was so weird. Because, like, once... Um, my friend recognized her car. It was just like, oh, wow. So this is her car. This is so cool. I'm not going to start to describe the car. Don't worry. It's just like, I I'll keep that on the low. Um, but other than that, it was just like, it's so weird just to think about that first moment. Because like, this is a friend that lives in America that two Irish people are meeting for the first time. So it's, it's extremely strange that like, we actually got this opportunity to do that. Because I never thought I'd be able to do something like that. You know, go from, like, Ireland to America. Like, going from Ireland to the UK was a big deal for me. And that took, like, six hours just by boat. Like, oh, it's just, it's so bizarre. <laughs> Jojo. I have to do this, sorry. Um, but, yeah, so... Uh, she didn't exactly park because she was basically picking us up anyway, so we didn't weren't really in a rush to park anywhere. Um, like once she got out of the car, she went round back. It was just like, wow, this is the person. Obviously, it's like, oh, you sound different. You sound different. And I was like, like my brain was like, oh yeah, you're sure. Like that makes sense to me because I, I don't know why. The, just uh, I don't know if it's sexist or not, but like my brain's like, oh yes, girl equals sure. <laughs> because to be fair most of the girls i've like met in my time albeit be like a few of them have been like short there's only been like one to maybe three girls i've ever met that were like taller than me or at least on par of my height like back in secondary and stuff but that's it um yeah no sorry um it's so weird like my mate and her they, they hugged out and then he lifted her up which I thought was funny, which I, um, yeah, actually I won't mention that detail, it might be a bit too personal, and then, like, I also, I basically just copied him, because I was like, well, if you're doing that, I'm doing that, <laughs> but I didn't on the way back, on the way back, I was more courteous, I was more calm, I was just like, Ugh. as much as I didn't want to admit it, I was just depressed, I'm still kind of depressed now, because, like, I'm so used to just waking up and seeing both of them in the morning, and not, like, um, my, like, actual house, my parents, and, like, even sleep in my own bed. It's just weird. Um, just real quick, I'm gonna click this. But, um, I don't know which one it was, that one. The first thing we did, basically, was, I think we just checked into the hotel first. Oh, no, wait, maybe it was go to Walmart. Oh, which was it? I, I genuinely can't remember, because the first and second day kind of blend into each other. Um, okay, so I think we went to Walmart first, and, well, we started our kind of, me and my friend started our G Fuel hunt, because we never saw it till then. Um, we're not, they, we've never seen G Fuel cans in person, that's what I meant to say, sorry. And, bro, like, Walmart is just massive. Like, you think you're in a big shop in, like, bleeding, like, uh, you know like and anywhere in like dublin and stuff nah nah <laughs> walmart is just like hold my beer i will be the size of your entire county basically what it felt like like bro like like walmart had like two entrances as well it was like 
you could go straight into the store part of the shop or you could go into the pharmaceutical part of the shop. And it's like, whoa. There's like an actual proper pharmacy running within the Walmart. Which is unusual for me because when I go into a shop, it's like I only get the shop and maybe a few pharmaceutical goods, but not an actual pharmacy. Like the pharmacy is usually separate from the shop, which is just... Ah, oh, it's just mind-blowing just to think about it. It's also mind-blowing to think that I almost walked behind the gun counter by accident and uh, just to admire the guns and probably nearly cause a commotion. But we, we won't talk about that. But yeah, that's weird as well. Like, actually seeing guns in a fucking supermarket is just bizarre. It's like, oh, look, there's the airsoft guns. There's the actual guns. Oh, over $100. Not bad price. <sighs> it was also a bit weird as well, seeing everything in dollars and stuff. But my brain was all right with that. I was like, yeah, no, it's, it's numbers. Like, it's similar to, like, Irish thing. I did look up the conversion just there because I still have uh, dollars to transfer into euros. And it's like 0 0.9777 or something to transfer my dollars back to euros. So I'm going to wait till the day to at, at least one point something. I'll be like, right, now it's time to transfer the money. Uh, because I'm not in a rush to transfer my dollars back yet. But yeah, our Walmart experience was mad. Like we were, I swear I felt like we were there for 20 to 30 minutes. Like that's how big the shop was. You just like constantly just walk around and be like, ooh, what's that? What's that? What's that? Oh my God. Just the choice in there is beautiful. I wish our local shops had that much choice. Like, And as well as that, I, this wasn't in the same shop. This was in another shop called Hannaford. But when we saw alcohol, oh my god. Like, I, I need to scroll down a bit. I need to see it, like, on my phone so I can describe it. Where is it? It's right here. Bro, there, like, people always wonder, like, how does alcoholism even become a problem and stuff? And I, like, at least in America, and it's just like, I see this bottle, right? And it's massive. Like, it's so big that you could hug it, like, and, like, it actually probably feel... Ni well, it wouldn't feel nice to hug Joe. You're hugging glass with, like, rum in it for this uh, picture I took. But it has a handle on it. I've never seen a bottle of alcohol with a handle on it that looks like a massive, like, gallon jug. I, it's not even a gallon, I don't think. I think it's the weight that might make it feel like a gallon, but, yeah, that's just... That's mad. Sorry, I had to bring that up real quick. Mm. Right, so... Getting the Walmart trip out of the way. I don't think we did much else during that day. I'm trying to remember, honestly. Because there's the plane. There's when we landed. Uh, yeah, again, we didn't really do much that day. We basically went to the hotel, checked in, and we kind of just vibed for a bit and then went to sleep until the next day. And yeah, for this entire trip, um, because I, I did mention her and she and all that, so I will admit it. Uh, since we met her, uh, it would have been weird because we only had two double beds if one of us slept with her, especially because she has a boyfriend and because of all these other factors, you know, just two random Irish lads come over and sleep in your bed all of a sudden. Hmm, that's pretty suspicious. <laughs> so me and uh, my mate, we slept in the same bed together for like the whole thing. There was one place we went to, like kind of hotelish that we went to where it's like they had a pullout bed. And I was like, you know what? Just for today, I'm going to sleep on my own. And honestly, I, I can't lie. I had the fucking best sleep. My body is still not used to sleeping with someone else in a bed. And I worried about that too much. Especially because, like, we were all mentioning to each other that we talked in our sleeps and shit. And it's just like, bruh. It's just, like, mad. Like, I did hear a few things. And, like, one of the... Oh, yeah. One of the times... I, I will mention this just because it's funny. But when we were... When I was about to... No, this was a nightmare I had about, like... I was, like, hearing voice in my head, and I had my hands on my head as well. Like, it was very... It was not too graphic. But, like, it was their voices that were swirling around in my head. Maybe a few others, actually, now that I think about it. But I distinctly remember, like, her telling me, like, in a cold voice, which she'd never do, or, like... She'd never say something like this to me, I don't think, unless she thinks about it. <laughs> She's like, oh, okay, okay I'm sorry. Well... She, she was just like, fuck off. And like, bro, that, that, that stuck with me. I was like, like, honestly, I was paranoid for the rest of the trip. I'm like, am I somehow annoying her? And this is like her way of telling me in my head. True dreaming. <laughs> just like, oh my God. Right. Anyway, sorry. First day, got like one to two hours of sleep. Uh, it was, it was, it was, it was very cool. Um, so let me think. So we went out. Can I see that map? I've no clue where that map leads. 
But yeah, it was weird as well, now that I think about it, because when we went out, we were traveling on, like, the right-hand side of the road, and, like, if you live in Ireland or the UK, it's like, you always drive on the left. So it's very bizarre that we were driving on the right the whole time, and there's different linings on the road, like, slightly different linings, and the signs were all different, because, like, you look at a sign, and you're expecting Irish, like, beside the English, but it's just English, and you're expecting kilometers, but you get miles. And there's even, like, other signs and other rules of road that you have to, have to obey. Sorry, I'm getting fucking hiccups right now. It's a piss at me off. Give me a second. Okay, hopefully that's quelled the hiccups for now. But yeah, um, on the first day, I don't think we did much else. And I will admit, actually, when we went to Walmart and all the other shops, we may or may not have gotten way too many snacks. Because, um, yeah, I, I, there's nothing else to really mention there. We just got too many. Because, like, we were already, like, eating at various places. We were eating, like, in the hotel sometimes, like, breakfasts. And, yeah, there was just no point as the amount of food we had. Um, but still, I, I did try to have a few things. I didn't want to have, like, the moon cake or whatever it's called. Oh, whoopee. That's it. Whoopee something. Whoopee cake. I think it was called, because, um, I'm not gonna lie, I tried, like, a peanut butter Oreo, and I did it again for whatever reason a few days later, and I just didn't like it. I don't think it agreed with me, honestly, as well. <laughs> it's not that I have, like, an allergy to peanut, it's just don't really like peanut, like, flavoured things, so. And, like, the whoopee pie was also, like, a peanut. Like, it was the only one we could get as well. Like, she was ranting about it, being like, bro, where are they? Like, there's they, they, they're not anywhere here. Like, th why do they not exist, basically? And it's just like, ah, oh, man. It's just a bro memento, overall, for, like, America not serving us the, like, nice whoopie pie. Or whatever it's called. <laughs> um, obviously, uh, my mate brought over a few things, like, food for her to try, and uh, we... Tried a few of her delicacies and a few American things as well. I uh, can't remember all of them off by heart, so I think I won't m bother going into too much detail. Other than that, she really liked the Malteser, the Malteser Bites, and the Milky Way Stars. Those three. Which, now that I think about it, uh, if I ever get a chance to go to shop, which I did like when I came back, but then I fell asleep. And then I woke up for like three hours, and I went back to sleep. And I woke up at 11. Which I might say, okay, well, let me, yeah, I'll mention that at the end, sorry, I won't mention too much more, but I might actually go for the shop, basically, just to get those things. Anyway, even though I'm meant to be go trying to get myself back off of chocolate. Anyway, anyway, back to the trip, right, sorry, um, because we're, we're, I know I've been talking for 27 minutes, but we're only on day one. It's basically day one, like the uh, 21st, no, 22nd, sorry. So this is theoretically the second day. Um, so... First day, I believe we just went to a shopping center. We had a look around, complained about the Converse shoes prices because I love Converse and she likes Converse shoes as well. It's like something we kind of vibed on, honestly. Because um, beforehand, right, it's like my mate and her are the two people that really wanted to see each other. And like a lot of the time I felt like I was just like third wheeling was the wrong word I think I used. It was meant to be like, I feel like I was just leeching on it. But to be fair, without me, they wouldn't be able to stay at, like, any hotel. Because all the hotels, for some reason in America, you need to be, like, 21. At least the majority of them. Which is just bullshit to me. How, like, they could just do that. But yeah, I was there because I was 22. My mate was only 19 when he went to America. And she's 18, so... There is that. Um, so yeah, we went to this mall place. And I think... No, yeah, sorry. Yeah, within this mall place was the like an actual arcade section on the next floor and boy oh boy ooh, was a good place so the first thing we did, did in the arcade i'm not going to mention anything else about the arcade yet until we finish the bowling because the bowling basically is in the arcade and ties to the next part of the arcade you'll see why uh bowling was pretty good uh, my mate got a strike on the first time round uh, we're waiting for our friend as well for her to get like a strike eventually or a spare and she eventually got one i believe yeah she got one and sometime during the first round of bowling, I think we did three rounds. We did, like, the first two rounds chillfully, but the last one we had to do fast because, like, we were running out of time. 
but basically um what should we call it um sorry if you hear a noise that's just me like, like bouncing my pen up and down my hand and yes it, okay fuck i'll stop doing that that's just sus um but it was like sometime during the first round of bowling where I got a strike, right? And I, like, there's even a recording of it, but I can't show it because it literally shows me and my face and my, like, yeah, all that. Um, let's just say that wasn't the first strike of, that was the first strike of many. I think I got an air strike at one or point, maybe one or two, but this was the first where I got two in a row. And on the sheet we were reading, it said that, like, if you got three strikes in a row, you win a prize. So what did my body instinctively do? Panic, because I don't, I didn't think I was going to get a third strike, but I did. I was amazed. I was like, literally, I threw the ball and I think I turned around as well because I was like, yeah, that's not going to happen. Like, it's not going to work. And it wasn't recorded. But then, like, once it struck, I heard, like, saw them two in front of me, like, basically kind of cheer a bit. I was like, wait, what? Wait, I hit that? So, yeah, I got three strikes in a row. I didn't get any more after that, like, in a row kind of strikes. I got maybe one or two extra strikes and maybe a few spares as well. And, yeah, it was mad. So I basically went down to a man. I even, I'm looking at it now. It's, I got, like, a, like, instead of a, like, basically there was actually two prizes, I might say. The first prize was to pick between a lanyard and a bag. And I picked the lanyard because I thought it was cool. And plus, like, I'm going to Comic-Con hopefully on the 6th, uh, which is in Dublin. Uh, so I do hope to actually wear that lanyard, maybe, and maybe, like, if there's a pass thing I could hold on to, that'd be pretty cool. Um, and then people could ask me, like, where'd you get that lanyard? I'd be like, oh, yeah, <laughs> it came from America when I got three strikes in a row. Yeah, <laughs> so calm down, ladies, ladies, whoa, 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 okay, keep your pants on, it's cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's the most fucking 80s thing you can ever say, but, um, yeah, sorry, the first prize was the bagger lanyard, I picked the lanyard. And I also got a bowling ball pin, or a bowl, yeah, bowl, a, a, a bowling pin, there we go. A bowling pin keychain that's attached to it. Um, yeah, that's really all there is to that. I will say, though, um, first time I tried to roll, I accidentally bounced the ball and it hit the kid's, like, little crocodile aimer yoke. Like, this yoke was used to try and, like, help kids, like, to be able to roll the ball down nicely. To where they wanted it but i think it was slightly off or one of the pins on the uh or not pins something on the actual like lane itself was um out of place or whatever so it made the ball like roll to the side when my mate used it so yeah I, I really wanted to be as powerful as him but i couldn't like it didn't work like for me um it was more of like spin he was saying there's like three things like power spin and something else and he was more of the power i was more of the spin and of course, our friend, she was more of the, like, last thing that I can't remember of. But, um, yeah, so basically we went through the bowling. It ended eventually. Ow. We didn't do anything else with it. Uh, we went Now, this is the thing, right? This is why this, tie this bowling talk ties into the arcade. Because once we were done bowling, uh, we ha because we had to pay for it as well, obviously, we had three tickets... That allowed us basically access to, um, like, once you exchange them, you get a card for basically one free play of any arcade game within the arcade itself. And I still have that card here with me now, but I'm not going to take it out because it's in my new book. Um, but it's just like, man, so I can't remember what the others did, but I know my first arcade game I played because I was, I was... I was so excited to see it was I don't know if any of you know this arcade game right this is what this is from Japan by the way like literally there was a big sign on it saying imported from Japan and a lot of them had it as well it's this rhythm game where like the whole cone inside before the screen and like before it reaches like or it goes out it goes outwards basically from the screen that cone is all like touch and like it glows up as well like, even when you're not playing the rhythm game, you can tap it a bit and then, like, like feel around it. And it's just so cool. That rhythm game was there. Like, please. Like, if anyone's at this point of the episode somehow and doesn't know what I'm talking about, please ask me. And I will gladly look up an image of it so I can see it again. Because it is just... I, I was amazed that was there. 
and like it was in pure Japanese as well so I didn't understand the majority of what they were saying I was like uh uh but my free turn anyway got me like play I could play three songs one of the songs was a Konosuba song I think two of them actually were a Konosuba song were they I, I don't remember the Konosuba song was definitely there and I can't remember oh one of them was um Kizunu Ai's Hello World I think it was and I think the last one was a Hatsune Miku song maybe I think so but yeah, no, honestly, it was so cool. And, like, I was getting, like, I was getting good combos on as well. And, yeah, I just, the only thing I wish I could do is understand it, honestly. That's the one thing I wish I could do. But I was also, like, there were timers everywhere being like, come on, you better pick, Joe. We're going to move on without you. I'm like, ah, ah. So, yeah, I, I basically had to, like, go fast with it. And then once I was in the game, it's like, it, it was just really fun. Like sure, I might have looked like the like a doofus, but I don't, I don't care, man. It was so fun. There's something so like fun and exciting about playing a Japanese arcade game when you've traveled all the way from Ireland to go to America to meet a friend. That doesn't line up with me nicely, or does line up? It do, it doesn't line up right. There we go. That's what I want to say. But yeah, uh, oh yeah. So one of the games my mates played whilst I was doing the rhythm game because it was taking quite a bit for me to do thing was uh air oh what you call it it's the game where like you have two pucks no you have one puck and you have two slider yokes and it's like all aired and stuff i can't remember what you call that like it was just yeah they played that 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 looked fun and she actually bet him it was like yo let's fucking go sister Woo! yeah baby that was great for it as well about sorry i'm just like i'm in such a weird mood and it's so weird as well actually i'll mention this quickly in my room it's starting to get warm if i was in america right now the ac would be on and it'd be nice and chilly like that's the thing as well in america like all the hotels and stuff had ac and whatnot uh, a lot of the hotels even had bibles in their uh bed drawers except the last one i think the last one was just like stolen <laughs> or they just didn't bother because uh the last place we stayed in had like 2,000 plus rooms, um, which is weird, but um, there was the, uh, yeah, sorry, back to the arcade, sorry, I I'll stop branching off, we could talk about other stuff uh, throughout this story, but basically, when it came down to it, the, um, yeah, we did a few more arcade stuff, can't remember, there was a VR, um, game there that I kind of messed up and I still kind of feel bad for her because like she says oh no it's grand it's grand like it's okay and like think back on it now it kind of is okay because if she really wanted to she could just go back to herself or with someone else and she could do it like with someone else so yeah I shouldn't feel too bad because she lives like in the same like state as this like arcade anyway in the mall so I, I shouldn't be like <laughs> I shouldn't feel too bad um but yeah, it was mad because like the VR headset also had a motion sensor and stuff. But yeah, anyway, I can't remember much of what else happened. I think did I play another like rhythm game? Oh, that's it. I played DDR for the first time. So the the one with the four arrows, one forward, back, left, and right, and the middle's like blank. I was playing it wrong at first because I didn't hold on to the bar behind me. At, but I will say though. I was so shit at it. The coordination was not there. Because I was trying to look at the screen and just constantly look at the screen. But I needed to look down as well. And I embarrassed myself as a rhythm gamer that day. I really did. Like, I don't want to go back to that. <laughs> Maybe I'll do it again if I see it, like, somewhere else. But, like, I'll, I'll actually be prepared this time. And, like, actually hold on to the bar behind me to help me. Because there was times where I actually could keep up. But I think I was just playing it too difficult as well. Because I have to remember, like, playing a mobile game on your phone, like, that is just so much easier than, like, actually using your body. As, like, as a controller for the rhythm game. Um. <sighs> yeah, sorry, I'm starting to get depressed now. Because it's just, like, I'm just remembering all the good times we had in America. And it's like, I'm back home now. But anyway, let's talk about the next place we went to, which was basically the coast. And we went to actually get lobster rolls. Uh, I can't remember the place name, but I have this picture I'm looking at right now and video. And it's just like, 
it was such a good day that day. Other than my friend, like, kind of hurting her uh, ankle and needing to get it, like, uh, like looked at. Um, but other than that, it was all cool. Um, I remember, like, the first photo I took of the place as well was, like, my background for a tiny bit. But then, like, a new photo that I took later on became my background. And I'll explain why, because it's just so cool. Um, so, at this, at the place, I won't lie, it was kind of pricey. It was, like... 15 to 20 dollars i think it was for a lobster roll and it was made using like toast bread which I, I thought was weird like they took a slice of bread toasted it and basically like uh bent it to hold in all the like lobster and all the other bits in it it was really nice though i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna say, i'm not gonna say lobster isn't nice but still pricey um yeah so that was the first time we went there and stuff I, yeah we didn't do anything else that day it was basically just like Mall, arcade, and then thing. I say mall, but it's kind of more of a supermarket. Uh, I guess kind of a mall. Like, it, like, when I say mall, I don't mean like a big giant shopping center. I mean just like shopping center. It's just a bit of my American side is still sticking with me. Oh, and I must say as well, uh, the morning before we like headed to the arcade, we also had Dunkin' Donuts for the first time. Uh, on the second day, I actually got an actual, like, Dunkin' Donuts donut as well, and I tried it. It was pretty nice. But, we had, I can't remember what I actually had. But I do remember it wasn't, like, coffee coffee, I don't think. I, I know the second day it was hot coffee, because I was a dumbass, and I forgot to check if it was iced or not, but shush. Um, I got a donut that time as well. But yeah, this also ties into the next day, by the way, because, like, I'm basically just going to talk about the next day, because I can't remember what else happened that day. Uh, so, yeah, we got Duncan, we came back, we did thing. Um, so the next day, we went to Maine's Wildlife Park Walk place. I can't remember its exact name. Uh, I didn't take some pictures of thing, but I know in our group chat, we still have, like, pictures of when we first entered the place, where I was doing the Nico Nico knee pose, and I don't know why I did it, I kind of want to go back and tell myself please stop don't do it <laughs> but i don't know I, I guess maybe i might have been tired or something might have been the heat or something that affected me but yeah i all i'm looking at though are the pictures right now of like all the animals because like it was like a foresty kind of area and like there was also like animals that you could see that were caged and stuff uh, wow well, that sounds really depressing when i say that but i mean like like a lot of them had a lot of room anyway so Oh yeah, we got to see so many chipmunks and squirrels and stuff just roaming around randomly in the random exhibits as well. So like, if they went to the road exhibit and there was an animal hungry, the animal would have had them for dinner. Um, but yeah, we saw stuff like um, raccoons. We saw like, like I think a, it, was, it was something lion. I don't think it was a mountain lion. We saw like foxes. So I saw a, I needed a picture of the peacock. I wish it opened its wings though. That would have been so cool. Cause the last time I saw a peacock was when I was back in secondary when we went to like a farm, and we were just looking around the farm, like or not secondary school, primary school. Uh, we also saw uh, like actual like a bald eagle and a golden eagle as well, and like those motherfuckers are massive. Like holy shit! Like I swear, like. I don't, I know there's nothing I can reference off right now, but like if I stood up, wait, okay, so me standing up, this bird would probably be up to my stomach. So look up a TikTok of it, like look at me on TikTok, just being cringy and dancing or whatever. And like, look at where my like belly button would be and just be like, bruh, so you're saying to me that eagle was like that big? And I'm like, yeah, basically it was massive. It was tall. I'm pretty sure if it really wanted to, it could attack me, and I'd do fucking nothing against it. Because you can't, you can't just smack that bird away. Like, you just hit him, but, like, it wouldn't get rid of him entirely. Um, we also saw bears. I was actually lucky to get two of the bears in one shot, because I think one of the bears was going to hide. Uh, and we also saw snap neck turtles, I think they were called as well. Uh, uh, yeah, along with other turtles, too. Oh, we saw beavers as well. Forgot beavers. I think otters were there as well. Is that an otter? Kind of looks like an otter. That's cool. Oh, and here's my picture now of that coffee I had with the donut. Like it's th this particular image is like kind of symbolic to me. It's like 
bro, this is me just like with my plus ultra hat off as well. I think that was the last time I wore the plus ultra. No, it wasn't actually. There was a few more times I wore it. But basically, like, um, uh, what did I say? I can't remember what else happened today. I think we just went to like a Hannaford shop and just bought a few things. It's where I bought this pink stuff called Bepsimol. And like, I didn't really use it literally until like the second last day when we were there. Because I was like, nah, I, I'm good. I don't need it. Because eventually my stomach did like calm down after the third or fourth day. And like, it was only on like the last like two days, I think, where I actually felt foodie. Where I was like, I want to eat more. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry, friends, for making you worried. Oh yeah, and Duncan's logo slogan sorry as well is um america runs on duncan and i just see it like in symbol form on it on their cup <sighs> yes I, I do kind of miss now having a duncan like even just the like a pre-made coffee for me on a morning time i need to make like i get a coffee machine myself and just do that because i know my parents are like oh there's no need for coffee machine too expensive i'm like yeah but it's just for me then <laughs> um let me see. So, nothing really much happened after that, I don't believe. Because at that point, we were moving hotel. And we were actually moving to New Hampshire because we were going to visit um, our friend's relatives. I won't say who they are exactly, but uh, they're pretty hospital to us. Um, I think they're all right with us. Bar the one of them, I think. Uh, again, I won't to go too far into it. It's kind of more of a family matter, personal thing, so... I won't say too much more, but what I will say is, um, this is the place with the extra bed, by the way, the, the, the sofa that turned into a bed. Um, we firstly, before we met them, uh, we actually went around another kind of shopping. This was more of a shopping center to me. Well, I say so shopping center, but it's like a shopping area. It's like, it's like a market area. So one might say, um, there was various different shops there. There was even a sweet shop. And I bought a bunch of sweets and stuff. And uh, we went to... I can't remember the place's name. Is it on the thing? No. I do remember, though, we got, like, a, like grilled sandwiches. Like, I got cheese, bacon, and something else on. And we even got, like, a side of, like... I thought when... Like, I forgot that in America they say french fries and not chips. So when they said the side of chips, I thought, oh, yeah, some chips. Like, you know, nice, nice lovely f uh, chips. But they actually gave us, like, salt and vinegar chips, which is so weird to see. And I did buy, like, a can of what I thought would have been decent sparkling water, but it was... F I just don't like that kind of type of sparkling water. It was horrible. And at this time as well, by the way, I'm still wearing the hat. I keep saying this because this was the place where I bought my new uh, bucket hat. And uh, now it's kind of like my main hat, like, because it's light. Depending on the temperature outside today, I might wear it again. But, um... Yeah, so the only other thing I can remember, really, I, I did go into a clothes store, and as, as I said, I bought that hat. I also bought, like, oh, no, I bought them somewhere else. Never mind, I won't, I'll mention that later. But what I can remember off the top of my head is we went into, like, a sweet shop. There was a candle shop we went into as well, but she had to put basically everything back because it was just, like, uh, she didn't want to get everything, I think, until the next day. I think it was basically until we moved to, like, uh, another hotel when we were done visiting her other relatives but um in this candy shop we got quite a few things and this one thing like should have been the proof enough that like she was all right with me being with her and my friend because like there was one time where i was looking at a tin suite and it was like um if anyone knows this it's like if you look up gifts and like sometimes you'll see like this like gray kind of cat that's like Japanese styled and like it's it's really tall its face is really small its ears are small as well but its body's big I saw that and I was like it looks cute but I can't I need to save money because my friend was kind of telling me off buying stuff in case like I bought too many things but I didn't really and I wish I bought more stuff <laughs> honestly I should have just filled my suitcase full of fucking manga because they're oh I, I completely forgot in the mall we went to this is back previous day there was like a fucking anime shop basically full of manga and stuff. And there was even, uh, there was like a Nezuko, like, uh, ne Nezaru, Nez Nezabaru? Ne Nezo. There was a ne ne Nezuko Nezu. And like, I should have bought that. It was, uh, there was just uh, so fucking adorable, bro. Um, 
But yeah, there's so much manga there. I would have bought the Spy Family one, but like what I was reading from the seventh volume that was in the shop is what I've already read myself, so I was didn't really bother. I could have got the Konosuba manga, but I didn't for some reason. I just bought I think it was I think it was the My Hero and the Sword Art Online Alternative because I, I like I'm reading like the Sword Art Online Alternative manga as well as the light novel series. And, like, I saw the second one of the manga, and I was like, okay, I have to get that. Come on, give me it, like. Um, but, whatchamacallit, the... Yeah, the, the, the place was good. Like, I could have bought more stuff, but I basically... Tr I just stopped myself as much as possible from buying so much shit. Because I thought, oh, what if I overweight my bag, and I'm going to have to pay extra for the bag, or dump stuff out of my bag... Just to bring it back to Ireland. Which, honestly, I would have had no problem dumping a lot of the old clothes I had, honestly. Because I still have, like, old clothes that I even brought back here. But even when I was in America, I dumped, like, a sock or two. I think I dumped a pair of socks as well. And I also dumped, like, um, an underwear as well. Because I was like, no, I, I don't want this anymore. Like, because it was just getting so threadbare anyway. I was like, eh, just leave it. Like, throw it in a bin. Um... But, like, it's just, like, yeah, sorry, it's mad that I forgot about that. But anyway, sorry, story, back to the sweet shop. As I was saying, I saw that tin, I didn't buy it, and I thought, like, um, my friend, like, she was going to buy it for herself, so she threw it in. Because I was also carrying around a basket, which is a good idea, because we did, well, I, no, I, I guess we all kind of did buy quite a few things. I think, like, them two spent, like, $15 each on stuff, and I spent nearly $20 on sweets. <laughs> um... Because whilst I was in America as well, they fucking reawoken my sweet tooth, man. So many things over there are sweet. Like, the bread has sugar in it. What? Like, the coffee... Like, I could actually drink the coffee because it wasn't, like, proper coffee. Like, I think, potentially. I know, like, their bold isn't, like, good, according to my mate. Because he drank, like, a bold over there and he dr drinks bold usually. And it's like, bro, nah. <laughs> just, nah. Um... Sorry, just, just stopping for a minute to collect my thoughts. So yeah, we went around the sweet shop. We found different stuff. I even found candy sticks as well. Or candy cigarettes, as some people know them as. And it's just like, bro, I haven't had them in so long. And I just had to. So like for most of the trip, I was just putting one in my mouth and asking them like, and he has got a lighter? I was like, bro. It was so funny. I, I even like took the temporary tattoo in the box and put it on my hand for the majority of the time. Like, even now, I only see, like, like three black dots still remaining on my hand after all that time. Which means that the tattoo itself wasn't really cheap. Well, when I initially put it on, I almost didn't put it on properly until I, like, re-soaked it and, like, left it for a bit longer. And then it went on nicely. But, yeah. Um, let me look at the pictures. Yeah, okay. So, I don't remember anything else happening there. I do know, though, that... Um... After that, we essentially met with our friend's relatives. Uh, there was, um, yeah, I won't mention how they relate just in case. So I'll say like the four of them, the four relatives. And it was so weird because I was like just sitting in the back and like in the middle in the back for the first time ever, I think, actually. And it's just like weird because I wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally lean on either or of them. Like it'd be just weird, be like, "Oh, sorry, Irish guy, I almost lean on you." Sorry, oh, sorry, just almost lean. Um, I know during one of the car rides, I think it was like the car ride back to the mall because that's where our friend left her car uh, with all our suitcases and stuff in it. But to be fair, we couldn't really check in anyway, so it didn't really matter. Because, yeah, I think we did try to check in anyway, and they were like, no, you can't check in now, strictly three. It's like, oh, okay, fine. We'll just, like, lose our stuff, and we'll call you out for it, even though it's not your fault, but yeah. Um, we like, I played the game of life with her on her phone, and <laughs> she was <laughs> legit my two options. I can't remember the first option, but the second option was video blogger, and I was like, well, I know which one I'm choosing, and honestly, it was the best option. Like, I steamrolled her in that game. As much as I hate to say it, like, to her face, I was like, no, I am steamrolling you. Like, in the moment, I wasn't thinking that. I was just laughing at how fucking stupid it was. But, like, it was so funny, man. Like, oh my god. 
that that was such a good game anyway sorry go, going back to the story so after the shopping mall stuff um i say shopping mall you know what i mean shopping place uh we went into their car and we actually drove to mount washington uh i say nearby but it was actually quite a, a tiny bit of a drive away uh my leg was also cramping because i was never in the middle of a car before and it was just like even my legs now like once i move them up they're feeling it um the cramp from the trip like ptsd and it's just like um we went to mount washington uh you could literally drive up it as well which is so weird to me to think because half the time like i thought we were legit just actually going to climb or something but obviously not uh, i don't mean like steep climbing i mean like just like uh, a good slope kind of climb but um yeah like uh her like relative drove us up six thousand feet into the air and we stood on the summit of mount washington and i do have a few like videos and pictures and there's this one video i'm looking at right now which i can't show the full length of because it shows my face but it's so funny to me that like if i ever share that with someone i'm gonna share them like that little bit I took a proper, like, video of it as well. And it's just weird because you can actually feel the air, th like, being thin up there as well. And, like, even when you're traveling up the mountain by car, you can hear your ears pop sometimes as well. Which is just, again, the whole thing was so bizarre to go to the top of a mountain and all that stuff. I know that as well, actually. There was a train system there too. <laughs> but the train wasn't, like, the right way around. They... Made, like they designed it so it looked like the train was pushing the car of the train up uh, to the top of the hill which I thought was a, kind of like a cool detail honestly um, I don't think anything else happened up there we just kind of took a good few pictures and like basked in the cold air whilst I wore my vest because I'm an idiot and I didn't put on my like uh, oh what you call it the the clothes top that i wore most of the time if i have a picture of it i'll blur my face and i'll show you what i mean but um i even post it on tiktok as well um that's the actual video i was talking about where it doesn't show my face and stuff um i don't know why i put the gif in but i thought it was cute um but yeah i believe then i can't remember if it was the same day or the next day i think it was the next day yeah i think it was yeah it was the next day we went basically sightseeing, like, in the mountains and stuff. Like, we just drove around, took a few videos in the mountains. Um, pretty cool day. Um, there was also this one time we were at one of the sightseeing places, and they also had a, a rock that said... Did it say Maine on it? I think it did say Maine on it. Hold on, let me... I should have a picture of the rock. Give me a second. Yeah, okay, no, it said Explore, sorry. Because I forgot we were in New Hampshire at that point. But basically, there was this rock that said explore, and it had instructions in the back that said, make sure to check out our Facebook and take this rock to somewhere else unique. And apparently, the rock that we held onto, I think, was actually originally from California. Now, I don't know how far that is, but I don't think we were near California. So, like, that's mad to think that that rock went from there to New Hampshire, and now it's gone from New Hampshire to somewhere in Ireland. That is just insane as long as my mate has the rock because i don't have the rock myself um Dwayne's just hitting <laughs> no, i'm sorry I, I, sh shush joe stop joking um yeah no again it's just insane to think about like that sort of thing but yeah once we were done sightseeing the mountains we stopped at this like um kind of rivery kind of place and we kind of just chilled there for a bit um at this point as well I think it was, yeah, it was now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, no. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 sorry. Reverse again a day. There's something I missed. Um, it was when we were done being on Tom Mount Washington, I think we went out for somewhere to eat. Uh, I had steak, corn on the cob, mashed potatoes. Uh, I could eat the corn on the cob to a certain degree. I ate the steak, even though it was a bit rare. Um or medium rare, whatever you call it. It's like, it had a tiny bit of pink in it. I didn't really want pink, but I wasn't really going to complain. I'm Irish. I was just like, ah, should be easy, it'd be grand. Um, but, uh, I did eat that and had, like, water because I didn't have my passport with me to get an actual drink. So, rest in peace to that. Doesn't matter anyway. It is how it is. Um, 
so yeah, we ate with um, our friends, like relatives, and like, uh, okay, I will say, yeah, because I basically have to say, one of her nieces was with us, and like, she really, weirdly enough, warmed up to me quite a bit. I think it was just because we were sitting close to each other, and like, her dad was like, basically just like, um, like talking a lot to other people. So mainly my friend and like my other friend as well. Or should I say my friends? It sounds horrible when I say my friend and other friend. It's like, oh, okay, Joe, I see how it is. But, um, sorry, that's not what I mean. Either. But uh, they warmed up to me and like, hey, can you help me with this? Because like in the restaurant as well, they gave the kids like, um, or any of the kids in there, like an actual uh, like crossword puzzle, X and O's place and a maze. Basically, it's like a character or not character sheet but like it's a it's basically a sheet to distract the kids whilst you eat with like in peace and obviously it didn't really work because i was distracted most times but she was very kind though it's like i didn't really mind you know i wasn't gonna suddenly just snap at a child be like here could you leave me alone like i'm eating here <laughs> it would have been oh god no that's not it's not funny joe that's horrible but anyway sorry yeah no again like after that instant like um or not instant, but after that, like, meal, my friend was like, yo, I didn't know you were, like, good with kids. I'm like, I didn't know either, honestly. I was just kind of going with it, like. I might have accidentally, like, uh... Nah, I won't mention that, because I don't need to. But, where was I? Oh, yeah, sorry. River. River kind of place. I have a few pictures of it as well. And this is where one of my favorite pictures I took came from. And it's such a pity, because I don't think I can share this one. Like, it's such a good picture, and it's such a shame I can't probably share it. But basically, um, I'll describe the picture at the very least, because uh, I, as I was mentioned there, her niece also was like, um, it, like gaining my attention for a lot of the river walk and whatnot. And yeah, I don't know. It was just, it was just cute, you know. That's really it. Um, so basically, um, this picture now. I'll start describing the picture. So. My friend, she took a picture. Um, it's like actually kind of weird. Now that I look back on her, like the rocks are like up to her like elbows as she puts her phone into the air. But um, she took a picture out through the rivery kind of place. But I also took a picture from behind her taking a picture of that. And I don't know why, but I love that kind of dichotomy. I don't know the actual word for it. And, like, now it's my actual background on my phone. Like, it's just... There's something so cool about it. It was also one of the first times as well, I think, I used 0 0.5 times zoom. Because I was um, talking to her about, like, camera zooms. Because we both have... I think the three of us actually had, like, uh, Samsons. But I was like, oh, do you have, like, the thing on your phone where you can, like... You can go to, like, the one magnifying, but you can also zoom out a bit before taking a picture. And she showed us, like, she had, like, I think 0 0.5 as well. But she had, like, options between 0 0.5 and 1 as well. And this was, like, during that time as well when we were, um... Actually, no, this was before the Game of Life, sorry. This was probably one of the trips uh, we took in her relative's car, anyway. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Um, <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so... We did that. We basically went back. We slept. No, we didn't sleep at the place. We we went back to the place we were at. Made sure... I think we... Do we... Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, we signed out before then. And we just went back to the shopping mall we were at originally. Where she left her car again. And I was scared for my life in case the suitcases were robbed and stuff. Because, like, her car was full of our bags, suitcases, and all that. So, like, anyone could have walked over and been like, Oh, that looks cool. I'm going to take that. Like, honestly, I should I should have probably not put on St. Jude's stickers onto my suitcase in case people thought I was actually a big streamer or something like that, or a YouTuber. <laughs> but, um, and, like, actually, like, rob the care of all that stuff. But, yeah, and it was, like, this little moment we had as well where we talked to, like, the relative, her relatives as well. Uh, whilst giving them a few little bites of chocolate, and she herself was trying to rob some of the chocolates as well. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. At that point, we just let her, like, because um, there's still going to be enough, because we were also visiting more of her relatives soon. 
Um, but essentially, we did that. We said our goodbyes. Uh, it was all good for the most part. Um, again, there was this like kind of little thing I'm thinking about right now, but I'd have to ask them again myself to see if like they'd be all right with me talking about it. So I'm not going to talk about it here. And uh, we went obviously not back to the same place but we traveled to the next hotel I believe. It was very dark though wasn't it? Now I can't my, the order of events in my head is a bit mixed but I do think we basically traveled back to Maine regardless of it going dark and we stayed in a place I don't. I won't mention the place name but I, I guess it was close enough to um, like where we needed to stay to visit her next relatives and stuff and yeah, we went to sleep. Had a sound sleep because like as the trip kept going, I get kept getting better sleep basically. Um there was one day though I woke up at like half three, but it was G. There was one day as well, I think, where I woke up like twice, but I went back to sleep again. Um and one of those times obviously uh, I did have that weird nightmare kind of thing. I will be honest, I did have another kind of nightmare basically the day before going on a plane. And no, it's not like a plane wreck or anything or a plane crashing. Nothing to do with the plane itself. It's just... I don't want to talk about it too much, alright? I'll just, I'll just say it was a strange dream. Um, right, anyway, next day. We wake up, uh, probably go to the shop or something. Um, I do believe one of the days, I don't think we visit her relatives yet. I think, no, okay, so what we did, right, let me scroll, so I see a picture of myself with the hat on. Okay, yeah, no, so this is when we actually went to the Hannaford shop and saw the alcohol bottles, and we're like, bro, they're so big. Like, none of the hotel, or no, hotel, none of the Hannaford or uh, any of the stores with, like, alcohol in them had, like, actual small bottles. Like, pocket-sized bottles, which is so weird to me. And plus, that this big bottle I'm talking about was at least 25 to $30. Like, ridiculous price for a bottle of, like, al bottle of alcohol with handles on them. Like, Oh, and I, I don't think I've mentioned this already, but a lot of the hotels, I think, by law or whatever, might have to have, like, a holy Bible in them. But our last place, I think the Bible was stolen. Because <laughs> it wasn't in the drawer. I was like, yo, guys, wait. First place we've been in, and it's our last place, and it doesn't have a holy Bible in. And man, the Bible was the exact same for every one of them as well. It's kind of hilarious. Oh, yeah, so... Yeah, okay, so sorry. Before we went to this next place and talked about and meet her relatives as well, we also went to a Starbucks for the first time. I must mention as well, at this point as well, I went to Starbucks a second time, and obviously that's when I got the donut as well and hot coffee. Uh, but this Starbucks was an ice strawberry latte or something like that. And man, my face, I'm, I'm just like, white boy all up in here. <laughs> um, but yeah, sir, I'm just going to move this over a tiny bit. Because I'm too lazy. Oh, I can't. Okay, stop, Joe. You're going to fuck the microphone. Don't do that. Um, but yeah, we, so we went to Starbucks. Like, tr stopped at Starbucks briefly. And then we went out. Then we went to the state capital of Maine, which is basically like, I guess you could say it's kind of like a historic kind of place or well now is a historic kind of place because it's got like, um, how could you say it? it's got like uh, stuff in, it. I think honestly, now that I think about it, all the photos on my phone are probably all messed up now because it's like, it's like, oh, we're converting all these back to Irish time. So some of these like that look like they're on one day were actually probably from the previous day. But, yeah, some of these photos are weird. I think, like, some thumbnails must have tried to save themselves as well. Because there's some duplicates of photos. Um, but, yeah, we went there. We had a look around. We saw, like, basically a lot of main related people and names. Historical icons. Uh, lots of different, like, basically a lot of history. Uh, I won't lie, though. A lot of that history has already left my head. I can't remember most of it. But we did take a picture in the place where I th do believe they used to or do make Maine laws in, which is weird to think. That's the second time I've been in a place where laws are made. <laughs> like, I wasn't directly in the doll itself in Ireland, like the place where laws are made. But I was right outside it. I was looking down on it. So you could say I was in a more of a superior position. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm pulling the strings behind the Irish laws. 
now you know. Um, but yeah, after that, um, there's this. But I do believe we also yeah okay so, mm, yeah the timing's all off on this. It's so weird. So, I think it was after that we went to uh, meet basically um, her next relatives. Uh, which I might as well just say, like, it was her dad and brother. And they were pretty chill, I would say. Um, her brother does kind of give me vibes of my own kind of brother, in a sense. Except, I, as I said to her, it's like, basically, like, instead of being extroverted, my brother's more introverted. And... Yeah, her dad was pretty chill as well. He was pretty funny, honestly. Um, Yeah, she was saying, like, her dad's a character, but, like... When somebody says that, I usually think of it in a bad way, but honestly, it was in such a good way. Like, he's such a good man. Like, he actually is, like... He's so sound. Like, he's actually... Bro. Like, the fella even, like, basically hugged us before we left. Like, and never saw him again as well. Like, it's just so sound. Um... God, again, the order of events are starting to mix up in my head, and my photos aren't really helping me. Um, but yeah, we met them... We, I can't fully remember. Did we go out? I think we went out, did we? I can't fully remember. What I will say, though, is sometime whilst we were there, we also went out because, like, um, our friend, she wanted to get, like, uh, ice cream and, like, a Hannaford, which was literally a walk away. It's the first time we went to a shop just by walking, which was so mad to think about. And, um, like, yeah, we had a pretty chill time in there. Maybe, actually, that's probably when I got the Pepsi Mall, now that I think about it. I think it was in Hannaford instead. I was worried about pharmacy times, but I think that was just for the pharmacy section of the shop still be open. Because I, by that time, like, I think it was closing, nearly. Um... But yeah, we got our stuff. We went back. Uh, oh yeah, her dad made us dinner. Uh, he made us spaghetti bolognese with instead of meatballs, it's with um, uh, basically grilled sausages, which I thought was an interesting take on spaghetti bolognese. I man, now think back on it. I wish I ate more, but I couldn't because like my stomach was being a bit weird, even during that time. Just for that brief moment. Just for that moment. Not any. Not well. Obviously, majority of time as well. But um. Uh, da, 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 da. now that I think about it, yeah, no, that that should be grand, shouldn't it? I'm just thinking to myself, man, what if I recorded this whole thing with the webcam mic? I would actually just cry, honestly. Um, yeah, just double check it, sorry, I had to, because like, imagine having to delete like an hour and twelve minutes of footage just because like I recorded with the wrong mic. So, after that, obviously we went back to the hotel, rested it up. Next day. I'm pretty sure we went out with them. Yeah, no, okay, so... I think how it happened... Uh, or what happened... Was we went to... Yeah, we bought a replace... Because they were there with us, I think. Yeah, they were there with us. Uh, we were skimming rocks across the water. And I even caught, like, some of the skimming on the water... That my friend, like, she did herself. Like... She should be gassed up. It's like when my mate recorded uh, me like t getting that strike. It was it was that kind of moment. I caught her. Let's see. There was one, two. I think that was four, and I think one was missing from that. So it might have been five total skims. Yes, I know. I'm gassing her up. But during this day as well, we basically were out like looking around places. We even went to the library. Um, I don't think we did much else after that. Did we? Not not with the four of five of us, sorry. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five. Um but Yeah, we were out most of the time. We probably head somewhere that I'm just not remembering. And on the way back to the hotel, was it? Yeah, I think it was on the way no, it was on the way back to her dad's home that um she was saying, Oh, where's my uh win win Where's my fluids? Like, where's the window wash wipe fluids? And because, like, she was pressing the button and nothing was coming out. 
And her dad suggested, oh, why don't we just stop the Walmart and have a look in for some, get a few gallons. Obviously, we did. We stepped in, got a few things, uh, the gallons of, um, two gallons, should I say. So two separate gallons of uh, window wash fluid. Uh, I think a few other things were bought as well. I can't remember them. But, man, the main thing, the main attraction of that day, we did go to a library and we saw a manga. We went to Waters and Skimmed Rocks. But the main thing, we found G Fuel. We found three flavor cans, four flavor cans of G Fuel, sorry. And what did we do? We bought three each. <laughs> Just we bought three each. So I got the PewDiePie flavor, the Phaseberry flavor, and the Black Ooze flavor. Whilst my friend... He got the PewDiePie Black Ooze flavors, and instead of the Phase Berry, he got the Sour Berry. And obviously we tried a bit of each other's drinks, and yeah. I, it was just, it's so mad. And I even have like a recording here of me trying it. Actually, I shouldn't play too much. I think that's playing copyrighted music. Or copyrighted material. That <laughs> boob light. But, like, I actually have a video of me, like, opening it for the first time, and like, taking a sip. And, like, if I was an influencer, I would have already put that on, like, my, uh, like, posted it out. Um, <laughs> it just gives a little thumbs up at the end. But, yeah, honestly, that was such a good day. And the next morning was so good, because that's when I actually opened the can. Um, yeah, okay, so I need to look through the pictures real quick. Because everything's kind of confusing there. Because, again, this is like me trying to relay to everybody 12 days of information. Obviously, I'm not going to have retained all 12 days of information within my head. Like, as much as it was a good trip, my brain can only hold so much terabytes of hentai before it lets aside some actual decent information. Um, so, I don't think... Let me think. Okay, so we went to... Yeah, okay. I'll just mention when we went to Arcadia. So we went to this place called Arcadia. It was kind of on an island. I kept making jokes about Life is Strange. Be like, where's Max and Chloe? And where's Arcadia Bay? Are we going to Arcadia Bay and all that? Uh, I also, actually, side note real quick. In Maine, they have a lot of places named after English like cities and all that sort of stuff. So like you have Leeds Road, Manchester, uh, Worcester, I think there was one of that. Like, there was basically quite a few English names. I just can't remember them all as well. Again, for the same reason I already mentioned. But, we went to Arcadia, which is a tourist trap, but we still went there anyway. Uh, that's where I got my tie-dye shirt, if I'm ever going to show that. Uh, I'll probably be wearing that more during winter than now, because it's long sleeve. But, I've always wanted a tie-dye piece of clothing, and here it is right now. Ah, smelling like home because my mom just watched it yesterday but um we went there we went to the irish pub which was called uh, leary's landing irish pub and their kind of slogan is closest irish pub to ireland in the u.s um if irish means that you're just blaring irish music poorly making points and claiming that the place is irish then yes okay it's the closest irish pub because honestly like, the fellas in there did not sound Irish, all right? I, and, like, it wouldn't be as... I know, like, my mate was saying it's quiet, but I swear it was, like, a tad bit too loud, at least for where we would go anyway ourselves. But, um... I, I don't know. I'm not trying to hit on the place. Like, it was actually pretty good, though, like, the food. Uh, and stuff, even though I got buffalo wings and it was too spicy for me, but I still per persevered and ate as much as I could of it. Um... Uh, what should we call it? Yeah, it was still an Irish pub to a certain degree. I just wish, like, if I said, like, Gurv Matagot, then they would say back, like, um, ah, Toshia Kaint Osperla, or, or, uh, Oskelga, which I think that would mean, like, oh, do you speak Irish? I'd be like, in Neil at all, Tame Kaint Osperla, uh, Gelga, and then I don't know what small is, so I'd just do, like, I'd just work with my hands and show small. With my hands. But yeah. Uh, again, not that bad, I guess. I'm just over exaggerating. The next thing we did is basically walk around for a bit. Uh, it was a bit of a mishmash. I know we lost 
each other twice. <laughs> and it was like my friend that I came over with that we were missing. Because like my friend, she went to the toilet first. Then he wanted to go to the toilet as well. But they must have crossed paths without seeing each other. No. Yeah, they must have crossed paths without seeing each other. Because she came to me. It was like, where is he? I'm like, oh yeah, no, he just went to the toilet. So we both walked to the toilet. But then he must have walked past us somehow. I think it's legit when like we were checking out a little place just before toilets that were probably where the original toilets were. And... Um, Whatchamacallit. So we walked in there. He must have walked by us. And then we walked out, walked to the toilets, waiting for him. Actually, we weren't waiting for him, sorry. I said, do you think he's actually in there? And she shrugged her sh shoulders, basically. I was like, you know, I'm going to check in real quick. And I basically glanced in. My eyes darted underneath the toilet stalls. I was like, and at the urinals, obviously, as well. Luckily, there's no one in or else they'd be weirded out by someone randomly just coming in and just <laughs> taking a glance around before they left. I went out to her, I was like, I don't think he's in there. I'll check one more time, just in case. And then I looked again, I was like, yeah, he's not in there. So we both kind of just walked around for a bit. Uh, or no, walk, did, we didn't walk around for a bit. We walked back to where he would have been, or where we all were at one point. And yep, he was there, you know? Um, basically waiting for us. But then we lost him a second time. Because we were waiting to get a bus tour around Arcadia, but the bus tour was like, no, for this, this, and this, so we didn't. But my friend had already left to go to a sandwich place to get sandwiches and drinks for... what well, he didn't really tell us, I don't think, unless he didn't plan to, but... Sandwiches and drinks for, like, these two guys that were, like, traveling across America and stuff, and playing guitars and stuff he got to play the guitar and he was trying to like demonstrate to them like uh irish dancing but accidentally twisted his leg and we'll, we'll talk more about that later because it does kind of tie into something later but yeah we were just sitting there outside the movie theater for a while she got like a drink of popcorn and i was like you know I'll, like well she was like actually you should probably go look for him just in case i'll stay here because of the thing because like she would have seen him from across the bus if he went back to the bus stop and I just went round. I was like, God, where could he be? Like, my brain went into, like, big brain mode. Because I, I was like, okay, let's go check down first. See, look around and come back. But before I go to her, I'm going to go back to the shop. He asked for directions for for sandwiches and drinks. And then I walked out. I was like, ah, this is where that place is. But it's closed now. So he probably went down a bit farther and to the left. And then I went there. Went across. Because there's a par this is, like, where the park was as well. And I was start, like walking on the side where the park was now. And I was walking down it, looking in, looking around. And then once I was going to head back to uh, my friend that I left at the cinema, and my other friend shouted across from me from the other side of the park saying, Hey, Joe, I'm here. I was like, oh. And then I just like ran across. And like she even told me like when we went back to her, she was like, I, I was looking at you at first, like, just walking, and then you were looking across, and I looked away for a few seconds, and then I looked back, and you're just running across the park. <laughs> She's like, the fuck? Um, yeah, that's the moment when he, like, twisted his leg, because, like, he was trying to demonstrate to them Irish dancing and all that stuff. Uh, we left them eventually. Oh, no, actually, I went, I was like, here, actually, I'll tell um Thing that you're here as well, right? And then he was grand with that. And I went up to the buses, I looked at her, and I was I wave to her and uh, point my thumb back and she basically came across like where's brandon I'm like oh yeah no he's just here past the bush talking to two lads and yeah we were just three of us there and then at that point then i think we were done <laughs> we lost him twice so i think it's good that we left because who knows maybe i would have got lost and hurt my leg next or something like that or hurt something worse but um we left and we did a bit of sightseeing. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Let me. Where's the images? So if I go up here. Um, oh yeah, I also took a picture of the emoji tattoo at this point as well. Uh, when we were waiting for thing. But we also went to the Thunder Cave. The thun. It's not Thunder Bowl. It's th I kept hearing it as Thunder Bowl, but it's Thunder like Cave kind of thing. It's like an undercut in the water. That's, like, big enough where, like, the water rushes underneath it, like, tides and stuff. And, like, it hits the cave in a certain way that causes a thunder noise to be made. 
don't know if I have a picture. Yeah, I have a... No, that's the icy depth. That's something else. I should have taken a picture of how it worked. But basically, we went there. Uh, my friend's leg wasn't doing too well. I took a few pictures myself. I love this picture I have of her. And she, she's just trying her best to duck out of it. But like I've already taken the picture before she could. And I love this other picture I've took of them too as well. Where it's like... My mate's trying to talk to her. But she's looking to me at the camera and just be like... Bro, have you, have you heard the shit he's been talking to me about? Honestly, it's kind of... Again, it's weird looking at her now through these photos. And just thinking, man... I'm not going to see her again for a long time. Because it's just like... We went to America for a reason, and now that we're back, we can't just suddenly be like text each other and be like, "Yo, you just all want to go out somewhere." Like, I guess like we kind of took that for granted because like we were always with each other, you know. But yeah, we went to there uh, because my mate's leg was hurt, and we didn't really venture too far. I felt like it was unfair for me to like go down and look at the thunder, like undercut cave itself. Because, like, them two would have just been staying with each other. She would have stayed with him to make sure he was alright. And, obviously, he was not going to track down, like, all those stairs just to see, like, tides rush into a cave to make thunder noises. Um, so, at that point, we basically just headed back to the hotel. We... I think we... Do we? No, we... Oh, you know, wait, yeah, yeah. So, at one point, I swear we re-met up with, like, her dad and brother. Because, like, he was saying that we should get thing for him. A com not a compression sock, what was it? The It's like a uh, black, like, hold thing. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. No, yeah, sorry, this is the next day. Uh, for that one night, though, we got a suppression sock. And we put it on his leg. And we put a bit of, like, we got a bag of ice. Well, she, she did most of the work, because, like... She knew more about stuff, um, like medical stuff, more than me. Um, so I could only hope to help in some way by hopefully not being in the way and like maybe fetching a few things. Uh, but yeah, other than that, like it was not too well until we went to um, uh, meet with her dad and brother the next day and we actually got the proper ankle support yoke and we put that on him and he wore it for a lot of the day. Like, for that one day. And he didn't really wear it much after that because it was just getting better. Um, at one point, we were even considering going to a Care... Not Care Plus. What was it called? I can't remember. But it's like this, like, place you can go in for a checkup. And it's, like, $25 per checkup. So we could have basically just wasted $25. But I honestly wouldn't have mind. I would have happily given $25 just to check that everything in his leg was okay. And since he's back in Ireland now, if it's still bothering him, he should go definitely like go to the doctor now and get it checked. But um, other than that, I'm sorry if you're starting to hear noises in the background. But um, other than that, uh, what do we? What else do we do? I think was it that same day we went to Fort Knox? I think it was, wasn't it? I feel like again I'm missing quite a bit of stuff, but again. I could always talk about it more next time, maybe during streams, maybe, like, if I can get them two on for a podcast episode, I would. Um, but yeah, sorry. So, Fort Knox. Oh, yeah, sorry, Th that's what I meant to mention as well. One of the days we also went to a nerf fort that was all wooden and stuff, I can't remember the name of it. All I remember, though, is dying from tiredness and heat. Uh, that I actually had to go and buy a bottle uh, because it was so warm. But, yeah, I'm not going to mention too much more about that. I've already moved on from that. All I'll say is it was really cool, especially just hearing a bit of the history of it and seeing, like, um, what the homes would look like during different time periods as you, like, walked up the house. Uh, pretty cool details. But, yeah, we went to Fort Knox. Uh, obviously, it's not wooden. This one's made of pure stone. The stone itself was uh, whew, very uh, chunky. I'm not going to lie. And I'm just scrolling through the images now. I do remember uh, my friend's dad saying that, oh, like, yeah, definitely during my time, they would have had a few more things uh, not, like, blocked up with bricks and stuff. They would have let you go many places. And then his father would have also said the same thing, being like, oh, in the fort, you used to be able to run around the septic places and you used to do this and this. But they have all that closed now because probably of health concerns. And, like... Yeah, actually, that's such a good shot. There was one time where her dad asked me, uh, do you think there's anything up there? I was like, I'll go check. <laughs> just, and I literally just started climbing up to like this uh, little hill 
that was in Fort Knox itself. And I took a picture because it was a good opportunity to take a picture of everyone in the picture and uh, the cannon itself. And I'm just looking at this cannon and like, even this one's not the biggest of ones, but Jesus, it's massive. Um, That's from Fort Knox as well, I believe. But I think it was like, there was Fort Knox, a picnic area, and then the observatory. I think that's the order of events that went that day. But yeah, we had a look around. We even have a tour guide showing us different places of very various things, and it was fun. There was the picnic time where we actually sat down, and for once, I actually had more than one like helping of food. So I had like two sandwiches, and I for the first one, I just had like like cheese and salami and mayo, I think, and then the second one, I just had everything on because I was like, you know what, screw it, let's just have everything, let's go. I felt bad for like my friend's dad though, because like her dad was like. Didn't really get much left of the food that we thought we were going to have left over, like. So I did kind of feel bad for that. But to be fair, like, there were some times where they were saying, oh, yeah, take two, and it's all good, and this, that, and that. It's like, okay, fair. Um, but, yeah, once we had our little picnic, we went to the observatory nearby, which is uh, one part, like, one big pillar of the bridge, and the other pillar of the bridge is just all, like, solid, I assume. And, like, this thing was massive, and, like, the elevator in it went like I think nineteen nine to nineteen miles an hour or something like that. Probably nine. It's probably not that fast. But basically it would get you from the bottom of the observatory tower all the way to the top in like fifty nine seconds or something like that, which was mad. I know my friend, she wasn't doing too well at the elevator. She was like hugging herself, just be like, No, nah, it's all good. And once she's at the top, she was just always holding on to railing, barely looking out. And like, I will admit myself, I was starting to get a bit queasy and a bit wobbly when I started looking out and around and holding the rails. Just because my other, like, mate was just like, oh, I feel the thing swaying. He's like, shut the fuck up, man. We're so high. Like, leave us alone. Stop messing with us. But yeah, took a good few. I basically took a photo from all the angles I could. Um. And yeah, I will mention real quick just because I see this breakfast here. Um, in the hotels, a lot of them had, like, eggs and sausage for, like, breakfast. So, like, it's either scrambled eggs or eggs that were just flat, and I can't remember what you call this type of egg, because it's not a, a thing egg, it's just, yeah. Uh, or you'd have sausages, which were either already rolled up into a sausage form, or just laid out like patties. And I will mention as well that it was kind of sus of me just walking around with a bl eh, glass bottle, but this glass bottle, two times it was a root beer and the other time was a cream soda. And I wanted to try both of them, so I tried both of them. But yeah, after that, I don't think there was much else. I think, again, my phone's kind of recording all these pictures in weird time. Um, Again, there's probably some other things I'm missing as well. But, honestly, once I've gone through all these pictures, which we're nearly at the end, by the way. But I know, it's like an hour and a half and we're nearly at the end of the story. But basically, so far, as you see here... Oh! Jesus! No, 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 sorry. After the observatory. We're not going to the next idea. We're talking about what happened after the observatory. I think this is after the observatory. Oh, wait, no, that's 26th. 29th, sorry. This is 26th. Okay, yeah, sorry. Back on the 26th, when we went to, to the capital uh, of Maine, uh, it was my mate's birthday, so... The mate we went to see, she said, uh, yeah, we're going to a, pl a place out to eat. Uh, she brought her dad and brother with us. And we went to a hibachi, I think it's called. Or the actual place was called Kum. K-U-M. And her dad was saying, come? <laughs> it's just like, bruh. Oh, my God. Like, you can't fault him for that, though. Because it does spell that out similarly, like. But, um... Yeah, no, that place was mad. It's, like, the first time I got to see food, like, cooked in front of me as well. Even though, like, I... Okay, I will mention as well. I went to Walmart. I saw a sushi packet. I didn't trust it. But then I went to this restaurant. I was like, oh, I trust a place called Coom to make my uh, sushi very well. And they did, honestly. Because I didn't feel food poisoning after it. So it's good. It's good stuff. Good stuff. I don't know what salmonella feels like. And I ho never hope to, but yeah. <laughs> so, in this place... Um, I had, like, sushi and everybody else had different stuff, like, um, I don't know. Oh, I also forgot to mention this to other people as well, but 
during this time when we were there, um, the person who was serving the food, and, well, before cooking all the food, he was trying to throw like a cube of cucumber into everybody's mouths. Um, uh, our friend's dad didn't really get into his mouth. It was twice. And he was on the phone as well, which made it worse. Um, uh, yeah, I won't mention that instant. I'm going to skip this instant on purpose. I won't mention that. Um, there, uh, the, my friend's brother, uh, he almost had it. It was in his mouth, but it hopped out of his mouth, which is a rest in peace moment. Then it came to me where first try went into my mouth without a bother. And he didn't try with me again because he's like, oh, no, he's got it. He's got it. Um, then we got um, my friend. Uh, he tried to get into his mouth, but I don't think it worked and didn't work either. Or, and it didn't work for my other mate either. She failed to. But that wasn't the worst. That wasn't the worst. That wasn't the best of it. Of throwing cucumber in the mouth and seeing fire being sprayed directly in towards your face and near searing like the fucking mustache hairs on my face and my mates as well what was the best part was uh of course it was my mate's birthday and we we're here for my mate's birthday mainly and like as we were basically finishing food they uh <laughs> so there's these like stage lights that like light up different color stuff that start spinning around randomly and we thought oh that's weird what's that up about and then suddenly music started playing and it wasn't the traditional happy birthday to you like in that other restaurant we were in where I had the steak where somebody else's birthday was staying and we clapped for them. Um, it was a remix. It was like, it, uh, it, they weren't saying lyrics or anything. It was more like <laughs> no, I'm sorry. That's that's definitely not it. But it's my it's my iteration of it. And like it kept playing that. And they even came out and put a turkey uh, legs on his head that were like moving on their own, like a hat. It was like, bro, it was so funny, like. Unfortunately, what they brought out to him, like, he had a, there was a candle and, like, a kind of dessert-y kind of thing. And, like, he blew it out, and he had a little taste himself. They both had a little taste, both of them. And they were like, yeah, th th we can't eat this. Because, like, they both have, like, my friend's lactose, my other friend has, like, a problem with her, uh, I won't, actually, I won't mention it in case it's too personal. But basically, she has a problem, uh, in her, uh, thing as well. Uh, similar, I'll just say similar to lactose to make it sound simpler. But, um, so then it was basically passed to me, and it's like, oh, is anyone else sure they don't want this? And, like, as I was saying, I, I mean, like, you just gonna, oh, just fucking shoves the whole thing in my mouth. It was kind of nice, though. I, I'm not gonna lie, it was really nice. That was weird, I thought I saw something, but, um, the, whatchamacallit, after that, I, yeah, essentially we just dropped, um, my friend's dad and brother off at their home, went back to hotel, went to sleep, and went from there. Um, do you believe there was that and this? And oh yeah, we were gonna talk about that. Uh, we also we visited um her auntie's house, uh because like they also wanted to meet us and um her another one of her relatives um. It was good. Again, I, I'm, I'm honestly now I'm actually starting to get tired because I've been fucking talking for an hour and a half. So forgive me if I want to try and end this story sooner than later if I'm going to forget a lot of other details. But they were nice. Uh, we had dinner there as well twice, I think it was. Was it twice? I can't remember. I, what do we even have? Um, I can't really remember what we had. Oh, okay. One of them was mac and cheese, and that did my friends, both my friends' stomachs in, because there was a lot of milk and butter in it. <laughs> and um, we also had, like, rice and chicken, I think it was. We also watched Free Guy whilst we were there as well. We watched quite a few movies. Uh, other than me watching three on a plane, we watched, like, two total once we were, like, in America and stuff. Like, one in the hotel, which was The Rise of the Guardians. And there was also uh, Free Guy as well that we watched. Um, yeah, so that one time we visited her and we obviously went home from there. Um, 
I do. Yeah. Okay. So now I think it's time to start wrapping up a few things. So, um, this was like probably the last day, the last day question mark. God, it's so the timelines out of order. I'm going to stop looking at my phone. I'm just going to basically just say that like on the last day we went back to um, my friend's like auntie's house uh, basically to pick up her brother because he was staying there and her dad as well. Uh, he basically traveled back by like uh, bike and bus. Um, said goodbye to both of them because we weren't going to see both of them. Uh, since we were going to like basically travel back near to the airport so we'd like be ready for the next day when we needed to go um yeah it was it, it's very again sad again just thinking about like how nice they were and how they called us nice and yeah it's very nice i'm not gonna cry i'm sorry i'm not gonna cry but yeah we left uh we traveled back to um my friend's dad's house Basically dropped her brother off there. Uh, they went to the shop, I think, briefly for something. I can't remember. And then they came back. and <laughs> They didn't forget about me. They actually came back for me and picked me up as well. Um, I will mention, actually, before I like start capping the story off more. There was one time where we went to a Goodwill and we bought like charity stuff. Like That's where my new glasses came from. And I bought my, my dad pants for him. I also got my mom a bracelet from that mall I talked about before. And I got my brother like a thing from the sweet shop. Along with the Arcadia, there was also a name tag thing that was solar powered one that I bought for him as well. But yeah, as, uh, as we were going, we he headed back and... Um, oh yeah, actually, before we headed back to... Uh, her dad's house we also got like um Duncan again for probably the final time and I actually ordered what she ordered this time what my mate also ordered too with her because I was like nah I gotta at least try this once we had an instant though where her one was like a lot sweeter than it should have been and luckily they got the refund they came oh that's it they went to a Duncan nearby that's why they left the house and like they came back and they're like oh they charged us three dollars extra just jokingly and like, well, he said uh, right afterwards, just joking. And I was going to say, oh, I hope you're joking. I would have fucking easily gone out and fucking yelled in their faces. Like, even though, like, I, I'd never do such a thing like that. I'd just go with them and just, I, you tell I'd be pissed off, but I wouldn't really start, like, shouting in their faces. Because I know, like, some place had it bad. I know one of the hotels we were at was, like, when we had a problem in our first room, which I don't even know how I meant, didn't mention this. When we had a problem in our first room, the person behind the counter was saying to my friend like saying to her like how um anytime there's a problem in the hotel they always get shouted in the face things thrown at them and whatnot and it's like bro jesus christ okay that's like madness but we're not gonna do that we're not barbaric as much as the britain said we were back like a few hundred years ago even though i am british shush um <clears throat> but yeah in our first hotel i was must mention again um next day when our friend woke up uh, she felt something crawling on her face and uh, it was on her back. Uh, probably on her face slash back, whatever. I can't remember. Either or. Well, just just take or choose. Which one's more creepier to you? Feeling something crawling on your back while you're sleeping or something on your face? And she woke up. Uh, she did a little screech. And yeah, lo and behold, it was just me and her in the bed as well, I believe. Because my mate was in the shower. Um, and we were just looking. It's like, oh, that's a cockroach. Well, at first she wasn't convinced, but then she was told by, um, like, when she was asking for a room change, she was like, oh, yeah, some truckers probably brought it in. We apologize. And at that point as well, we moved room. Um, next room was grand. Uh, the room we were in um, was thing price. I can't remember, actually. But this next room we moved to was hilarious because on the door itself, it said that our room was an estimated value of a thousand dollars, and we were only going to be staying there for like two more days. It's like, what? Excuse me? Like, bro. Again, I don't know how I didn't mention that till now. I think I'm only just think about these things now because my brain's like, no, don't be depressed, bro. Here, remember this good time. This good time. It's just like constantly trying to pull me back to thing. And I actually now that I think about it as well, there's another thing I need to say. The book I'm currently reading is six hundred. 30 plus pages long and it's actually a collection of FNAF novels of Fazbear Frights so Five Nights at Freddy's Fazbear Frights 
and it has volumes one to three all merged into one book. So there's a total of ten stories, I think. So like there's the first or there's the nine uh, stories themselves, and I think there's like a bonus thing at the end as well. Which if they combine the bonuses, that's probably they like, they could either make it all one or just make them three separate stories. Um, but at that point, if it was three separate stories, it'd be like twelve total stories in the one book, spanning six hundred thirty pages. Uh, nearly the size of a Bible itself. And it has a sticker on it saying only in Walmart. So me to have that book here is really strange. I'm like, oh yeah, I, I got this straight from America. See, it's got the Walmart sign on it. But anyway, sorry. The last day. So the last day was very chill. Um, Woke up, had eggs and sausages with uh, cream soda for breakfast because you know how it do be in America life. Uh, but since we were still in the area, we actually went to what was supposedly C Stephen King's house. And there was a few people taking pictures outside the house, so we assumed it was. Uh, there was even a car in there, and someone even rumoured to say that like it was probably a, su a summer home for him. Uh, the person who took pictures of us, though, weren't really that good. They could have moved closer to us, but I think they wanted the, um, like, house in the background as well. I mean, just looking at this now, they could have moved in a hell of a lot more, but they didn't. So, it is how it is. Uh, we weren't really going to go back and bother and be like, yo, can you just, like, take it again, please? Uh, because we weren't like that. But yeah, once we were done uh, invading Stephen King's uh, private life, we basically just headed back we it was quite a ride back um we might have stopped in a shop briefly um god it's i seriously can't remember what else we'd stop by this like lumberjack statue briefly i can't remember the name of it uh well we didn't actually stop we kind of just drove by it it's like oh there's a lumberjack thing and then we just went then we moved on um then we have I can't remember. I seriously cannot remember. Uh, shit. Wow. Okay. I, I'm, okay. Wait. No, there it is. So we went to this. Um, yeah, we went to Five Guys first. Cause I've never been to Five Guys. My friend's been in Ireland before. But it was a different experience anyway. And like. Um, let's just say. Uh, I got like a Five Guys cheeseburger uh, all for one or something. So like it, they basically put everything on top of it. And like I, I struggled to bite into that burger. It took like I, I couldn't open my jaw wide enough or squeeze the burger enough. Because if I squeezed the burger too much, so much grease would come out. And if I tried to open my jaw any wider, it would hurt my jaw. And like, yeah, we had fries and I... Sprinkled a bit of salt on it. It's like kind of epic, kind of cool, bro. It's kind of e. I didn't even know the fries were left in the cup, so I was like, oh, okay, I guess I, I won't get fries out. I'm cool. <laughs> it's just like, but no, I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just like, yeah, it doesn't matter anyway because I didn't pay for them. Like, it was um my mate that, like, she paid for them. And yeah, after that, we went into a, um, what do we call it? Into the uh, pet shop uh, to have a look at some animals and stuff. Didn't really do much there. Basically went back to the hotel. Oh yeah, wait. Actually, on that same day, we went... Uh, and originally, our plan was to go swimming. Let's just say we did not go swimming. But we did go into a jacuzzi that was boiling hot. And we also went into a sauna. Now, the jacuzzi itself was, um, again, really hot at first. But it was nice. Just, like, chill and just relax, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm honestly, like, my eyes are fucking starting to close a bit more now since I'm resting. Come on. Wake up, Joe. You still got a story to tell. But, yeah, we went to the jacuzzi. We went into the... Wait, did I say spa? I meant to say sauna. But, anyway, sauna. We went into the sauna. And, by the way, the other manga books I bought was My Hero Volume 2 and Sword Art Online Alternative 2. But, anyway. Um, the sauna itself was a dry one. So it was pretty cool. Um, the three of us stayed in for a bit. My mate was convinced that it wasn't staying on long enough. And I think basically wanted to get out at that point. They didn't want to really stay in too much longer. 
because he basically just went running on the treadmill for a bit so it was all good from there but me and my other mate like she was just in here just being like yeah i'm not sweating yet and she really wasn't like she, you could tell she was from like maine because like bro like she she was not like she was not letting up like she didn't start sweating until basically near the end of it and i was just there just sweating books be like no oh, i'm good i'm good which genuinely i was like if i actually felt like i was gonna pass out i would actually like dash for the door like i would not stay in but you could feel the heat like boiling hot above our heads and like we had to move down slowly and eventually she was like um can't remember what she said but she said something that made us both get out basically at the same time at for the record she left first i was at last one out just saying um but we looked at it and there was like five minutes left and it was like bro wow we would have stayed in there for a bit longer and luckily we didn't because i think like our mate like set it back to 15 uh i was tempted to try something on the gym equipment but i was like nah i'm not arsed and like we were so tired at that point that we didn't even want to swim so we just went back to the hotel room uh changed rested up went to the airport and said her goodbyes luckily enough i was able to hold back my uh, tears i didn't cry but honestly the more we would like walk around inside the airport without her the more i just wanted to cry because it was just sad that we were finally splitting after 11 to well 10 to 11 days but yeah, there was no problem in the airports anyway, getting back. Just the wait time in New York was like six hours this time instead of four. So that was kind of a drag. Uh, luckily, the internet wasn't too bad. It was good enough where you could scroll for a bit without like uh, waiting for it to buffer a load. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else to mention. I don't think the first plane to New York was like that bad. I think it was actually all right, like the third plane. Uh, the... Flights back by for me generally, like my stomach wasn't as bad as it was going up. It was actually probably pretty chill. Um, I watched like basically under two movies, uh, because the last one I didn't really. I don't think I really watched one last. I think I kind of just closed my eyes for a bit. <laughs> but I watched a meme movie. Everybody knows about Morbius. Have to say, people have fucking set that film so far down. That I thought it was going to be worse than it is. But honestly, because people have set the bar so low, I don't think it's actually that bad of a movie. It is very strange, though, and probably should not be replicated again. But, like, it's a movie. Like, again, if you're on an airplane like I was and you didn't know what else to watch, just watch it for the meme, you know? Uh, very disappointed I didn't hear Morbius time at least once. And it was just an edit. It's like when there were spoilers for Endgames going around and people were saying, like, um, being, like, Fortnite's in Endgame and Iron Man dies and all that. I'm like, ah, that, they won't happen. And then you watch Endgame, it's like, oh, no, wait, there is Fortnite. Does that mean Iron Man will die? And then Iron Man fucking dies. It's like, bruh. That's, that's sad. Um, I actually cried during that, I think, when Iron Man died. I'm not gonna lie. That was, that shit was sad. Uh, but yeah, I watched Morbius and I watched Encanto as well because I never seen it before. I, and I also watched it because like my two friends were also like saying that a few times during the trip, being like, "We don't talk about Bruno." I can't remember the actual song itself, but I need to look up like the soundtrack to that film and just listen to. Thing. I really like the Strong Girls like song quite a bit. I thought hers was pretty good. Um, and then Bruno himself actually wasn't even that bad of a character. But anyway, uh, because like he actually was kind of chill. Oh, okay, just roll out. <laughs> roll out. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's really much else to mention because once we got back to the airport, like um, my friend's dad was kind of sleeping in, which you can't really doubt him though, to be honest, because it's like what it was like half or near just about five, I think, in the morning when we basically arrived back, like definitely after five in Ireland. Uh, I think said Ireland, didn't I? Instead of Ireland, <laughs> Ireland. Uh, just just leave me alone but anyway we returned we waited in the airport for a bit i got my money exchanged my dollars because i was like nah i don't think i'm ever gonna need them again of course i could have just kept the 20 dollars and not exchanged it but i just did it just in case um even though the exchange rate is shit right now for physical money especially so but it is so it is i think i got less than anything just because there was probably a big fee for like converting the money so i probably should have like put it like, I probably should have done something in America to try and put the money on my card and go from there, you know? But, um... What should we call it? The... What should we call it? 
Um, let my brain simmer. So we were in Dublin, right? And in Dublin, it's like, bruh. Um, sorry, I'm writing something down. I, I just need to remember something. So, yeah, no, basically we waited in Dublin. Once his dad said he was there, we literally went up the escalator and, like, we slowly saw his, like, uh, presence just there. Be like, hey, yo, I know that man. And, like, in my head, anyway. And, like, he welcomed us back. We walked to his car. We got in the car, got back home. Well... They, they were kind enough to drop me back to my own house, which, I, again, I, I try to always offer, be like, yeah, no, I can walk from anywhere else if you want me to. And they're like, nah, come on, Joe. take We'll take you back to your home. I, like, I was lucky as well because my dad was basically awake at that time. But um, I woke up, or I woke up. Uh, I got out of the car. I was even wearing, like, what I considered my hippie gear now. So the bucket hat, the glasses, the tie-dye long sleeve. And... Like, I, I, my bag was beside me. I walked out, opened the trunk. I actually didn't even know how to open it for a minute, and I pressed the symbol. It's, oh, the symbol, that's it. That was such a weird way to open the boot, but it was how it was. Um, yeah, I could just close. Sorry, I, I just think to myself that I can close my phone now. But I got my suitcase out. I waved them goodbye, and we can... Yeah, I, I basically walked, like, not too long until I realized, like, my dad already had the door open and was waving back to me. And I did, like, the hippie accent being like, yo, dad, how's it going? America was cool, bro. Like, trying to scare him, but I was just making him laugh more than anything. Um, and yeah, my dad's the first person, well, second person I met coming back to Ireland. Obviously, my mate's dad being the first. And... I couldn't help but talk quite a bit to him, with him in the kitchen, um, about, like, stuff I had, like, I, I had my two bags downstairs, I was opening a lot of stuff, and at one point as well, I don't know how, when we went back to the stairs of my house, but I saw my mom at the top of it, and, yeah, she was really happy to see me and stuff, and for once, she actually came down early, like, my mom's usually not a morning kind of person, she usually sleeps in till, like, at least 10 um, well, 10 is technically morning, Joe, but so you might count it as afternoon-ish. Well, actually, I say afternoon is like 12 onwards, maybe. Like 12 to 5, maybe, maybe 6. Or at least nowadays, 12 to 9. Because, like, the sun doesn't really set until like 8, 9 in Ireland. But, um, yeah. Talk quite a bit. Uh, my brother came down eventually as well and re-greeted with him. I brought my stuff upstairs, unpacked the majority of my things, uh, tried to go on my computer for a bit because my I was going to try and stay up for the day, but I couldn't. Um, because uh, like I watched like I I was waiting to watch new episodes of an anime that's airing right now, and I watched like the second episode, didn't find it too enjoyable because I was too tired to enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I let my computer download a few things, and I was kind of like half awake, half asleep. I do remember, I think, like, going to sleep with my computer on sleep. And I must have slept from, like... Because I do remember going out to the shops, which was 10. So I must have slept around, like, half 10 to 12. All the way till 8 o'clock yesterday. Which is so weird to think about. And... I woke up. Stayed up, basically, for another three-odd hours. Maybe four. And... Uh, went back to sleep again. Uh, woke up at 11 today, just as I'm recording this. And currently it is 3.15. Yeah. <coughs> well, excuse me. That is my trip to America. For the most part. Probably forgetting a few important details, like how my friend said I get a girlfriend when I go to America, but he's a fucking liar. But to be fair, though, actually, there was some points during the trip where I think he was trying to direct me in girls' as tr like directions, but I was being weird and just, like, just ignoring him. <laughs> like I swear, like we were in Walmart, it's like, oh, I think those girls are looking at you. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. and then just like keep looking at him. Like I'm such an awkward. I actually want to fucking beat myself up, honestly. 
It's like, bro, you had your moment, Joe, and you fucked up. Yes, I'm not gonna lie. I came back to Ireland with a fucking thirst for a girlfriend. All right, leave me alone. I'm a simp. All right. It is how it is. Um, but don't worry, guys. There's gonna be more moments for this kind of talk. Uh, like on the fourth, I'm going to an interview for a voluntary program, and on the sixth, I'm also going to Comic Con. So <laughs> their moments are there, bro. Um. Yeah, sorry, it's just, it's weird now that I think about it, like, it took me basically two hours to get, like, that whole story off my chest, when there's probably so much more bits I didn't mention. I also didn't really mention too much of the depressing things, because a lot of them started to get a bit personal, so I tried, I'm trying to leave them out, I don't want to just, like, you know, mention them and be like, have friends say later, yeah, Joe, you should have probably mentioned that, I'm like, sorry. There's probably a few things I shouldn't have mentioned during this, but we'll see what happens, you know, it is how it is. Um, but yeah, overall though, like, like coming back to Ireland has been a big kind of weird wake up call, like a kind of culture shock being like, wow, I was in America not too long ago. Well, it felt like not too long ago. Like I even said to myself, was this, was that all a dream? Like, bro, that was like so good. Like, it's so weird to finally be home, but I'm sad that I won't be able to see my friend again. Because she herself is, like, busy, like, with her own life stuff, which I won't mention. And, like, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's bizarre. Um, it, sounds good to be, it was weird as well going back into an Irish shop when it's, like, you're all euros instead of dollars and so small compared to the behemoths that are known as Walmart and Hannaford's. <sighs> and their options and their food choices. It's just, bruh. So I think the best way to end this podcast is to give my kind of, not really rating, but more like of like, would I recommend going back? Uh, let me just say airport wise, I don't like, I didn't really like the airport experience too much. Like at least the waiting, the planes weren't too bad, except for my stomach, but it probably won't be too bad now because I'll be like, hopefully grand the next time I ever go onto an aircraft, if I ever do. Um... The, whatchamacallit, oh, sorry, I'm just rubbing my eyes, not crying, I swear, but the airport, again, not too bad, or I say not too bad, uh, the airplane's not too bad, the airport's a bit myth, like, bad, I guess, to a certain degree, because it's just waiting time, and the lack of communication, especially in Dublin Airport, when you're just waiting for your fucking flight and they don't say anything. The other airports were grand for that, because at least they'd, like, constantly try to update you on what's happening with your thing, like your flight. Um, there's also... Oh, yeah, sorry, the experience in America itself. Really good. Really nice people we met. We luckily didn't come across too many uh, bad people in that kind of sense, or bad guys, as KSI would say. Um, everyone was pretty chill even like my friends family members were all pretty chill towards us for the most part uh, very talkative unfortunately I was not as talkative I was very like I, I was very quiet for a lot of the trip I'm not gonna lie like even when my two friends were talking in the front seat I was kind of just like chill in the back seat just think about various things myself I know for like last three days or so I was thinking oh man when we get back to Ireland I gotta do this this and this like bro brain calm down we're not back in Ireland yet but of course, now that I'm back in Ireland, I'm so fucking confused. I'm just like, oh, I just have to see what happens anyway. I do know, like, now that I'm back, I, like, ever since seeing her drive so much and at a younger age than me, it's just encouraged me to, like, want to try and pick up, like, driving lessons again. Like, I think the one big fear I just have with driving lessons is that I'll be fucking paying, like, driving lessons for the rest of my life and... Maybe my instructor mightn't be too honest with me and want me to fucking pay for more driving lessons after and after again, you know? To be fair, though, if I tell him, like, oh, if, like, if you teach me well for these next few trips, maybe I'll recommend it to a friend. Because I know a friend, like, my mate who was with me kind of wants to look into driving as well, but, like, not too sure. Uh, he probably should, but at the same time, he has, like, um, whatchamacallit... Nah, actually, sorry, I can't mention that. I won't mention that, just in case. But let's just say, like, his mode of transportations isn't too hard to come across anyway, so. <sighs> That's it. Overall, really good experience. 
as much as I'd like to go to America again, um, like, there are other places in the world I want to visit as well. If anything, I hope our mate from America, like, the, like somehow has the chance to come over to us. Because I know, like, if she was to stay with us, we'd be able to, like, uh, keep her over, like, a lot easier. Because my mate has, like, room in his house for her, if she ever did come over. So, like, if that space was still available, she could come over for, like, longer than we did in America. And we could explore. I say we could explore more, but it depends on the circumstances. Like, um... Like, honestly, my kind of dream right now is that, like, by the time, if she ever does come over to us in Ireland, that I've learned how to drive and I can drive us around Ireland. But the problem is, though, I don't think she would should stay for too much longer than we did, because there's not really much in Ireland to do, for say. Like, I don't know. We'd have to start looking up bits, and there'd be a lot of historical sites we could visit. We definitely would have to visit a castle and stuff. And, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So, again, as I said at the start of the podcast, no time for news. No time, really, for questions. The only other thing to say is that, I guess, like, as of this podcast episode, I'm back. And, um, hopefully I'll be uploading more and actually editing more. And, eventually, when I get the chance, like, when I settled enough, I'll start streaming again. I don't feel like streaming just yet. I think even right now, I kind of need another day to like readjust myself to like Irish times and the Irish environment. Because like, again, as I said, I experienced a kind of culture shock. Don't worry, I didn't go into like epileptic like shock or anything like that from epilepsy or whatever. And I didn't have a panic attack. It's just like my body's just weirded out like by being back here. That's really it. So yeah. Um, oh yeah, sorry, <laughs> one one last thing. I swear, this is the last, last thing. I swear, there's nothing else after this. Thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. Even when I was on holiday, I got so many notifications of people subscribing to Joe's Night Flare channel over time. And it was just like, it was such a big surprise for me as well. Because I was like, ooh, let's wait and see how many people have subscribed then since I've been gone. And, well, let's just say I like checked the channel and I'm just going to double check again just in case I'm really? wrong. Yeah. So as of today recording this on the 2nd of August, we went from I think it was like 161 odd subscribers to 182 subscribers in like 12 days when I haven't even been streaming and I haven't even been available to make videos, which is that's insane to think about. Like legit, thank you all so much for that. Like even like, let me just check this as well. Bro, I swear as well, like, the FNAF Security Breach movie, that was, like, 57k views, and now it's 50k views. That is just... That is just bizarre. Again, thank you all so much for that. I do hope, again, along with streaming and all that, and even, like, Sherry Albert's story, I forgot to mention, hopefully I'll continue editing that and actually, like, start, like, thinking of the next concept to make. I have an idea of who I want to make next but there's a few people we could make and the background obviously will remain the three characters for a while until i actually get the new character concept in so yeah oh man i haven't done this in a while thank you guys so much for listening to this podcast episode if you liked it obviously like it comment on what i should do next if i should invite my friends onto the podcast to talk more about america or if i should just leave the podcast for another while now until I really need to make another one. Uh, also, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you do so desire on the Clips channel and on the Joe's Night Flyer channel itself. And the Night Flyer channel is kind of dead until, well, actually, I start. I might start streaming uh, 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 Solstice soon, so there'll probably be content on that again. But other than that, again, thank you so much for listening. I'll see you guys soon.